This car is the epitome of what am I doing? <laughs> So today, ladies and gentlemen, we're in a Subaru Outback, but not just any Outback. This is called the Battle Wagon. This is possibly the most modified Subaru Outback I have ever seen. It's got a snorkel for intake. It's got a four inch lift with 29 inch off-road tires. And even before this review, he tried to get even more lift on it the day before. It also has switches in the dash for the radiator fans. It has really janky wiring that is just super sketchy. But here's the thing though, the battle wagon is not about refinement. It's about what works. And isn't that what's important? He's got an eBay short shifter with a Hurst shift knob on it. That makes it feel like it's an auto, but it's really not. You got the gauges mounted on the dash of the temps and everything. Another thing too is that sometimes it doesn't want to shift into first gear. So you have to basically go into second, then go into first gear. Oh my God. This thing is rad. Also, the skid plate up front is homemade. He got it basically from a Lowe's or Home Depot, and it's just a piece of sheet metal. He was like, yeah, sure, I'll just put it up on the front. No big deal. <laughs> hey, whatever keeps your oil pan safe, my friends. I just was eye level with a Dodge Ram 1500. <laughs> that makes no sense to me. He was on his way to import Alliance one time and the fender on the right got hit by a deer. So he was just like, ah, let's just put a camo fender on it because why not? Also, when he learned he was gonna do this video, he was like, I gotta have a nicer steering wheel. So he just randomly put this nardy wheel on it, which now makes it so the blinkers don't auto turn off. So I have to do that manually. So that's really not that big of a deal for a nice nardy wheel. I literally feel like a superhero in this thing. I feel like it can do anything. I can feel like it can climb on anything. When you start to get up to speed though with the off-road tires, you get the tire noise and everything, and it also starts swaying a little bit. This also has a boxer motor in it, just like every other Subaru for the most part. But here's the thing, he was so cheap to not buy an oil catch can. He got a normal paint can in a sponge as his catch can. And I asked him, well, does it work? And he goes, it does work. And I'm like, well, then that's all that matters. So the first thing I noticed about the battle wagon is nothing but smiles. Everywhere you go, everyone's giving you thumbs up and smiling and asking, what's that weird thing that's mounted on the side? Is that your exhaust? <laughs> no, that's not your exhaust. That's an intake snorkel. Well, it's an intake snorkel. Oh God, here we go. But the owner of this car, Austin, lives in Tennessee and he lives right near a mud hole and his goal was to have something that can take on Jeeps with an Outback and also have a car that is kind of sort of near STI performance, but he just ditched that all together because he really doesn't need to. The gear ratio in this is also kind of odd, so he has to keep his momentum up. There's no really low gear that he can just kind of drag through mud and rocks and things of that nature. So he has to keep his speed up. He says he has to go basically 11 miles an hour over everything, so he just bombs hills and bombs the mud. So I've been in a Subaru Outback before, but it feels so weird being tall. Like, that I'm looking over the hood and that there's space. Like, I'm not used to this. So Austin's also done other things to the car. He also put the bash bar up front and he put that on himself by welding it on there. And he goes, yeah, it's not clean welds, but hey, it's on there. It also has the hella horns with the big lights up front that gives it a ton of character. And this thing just screams personality. It was cool of Austin to come down. He was coming down for a Subaru meetup here in the Atlanta area. This feels like a less modern version of Jim's Crosstrek that we did the off-roading vehicle in. But this thing feels so raw because there's no like electronic aids and the shifter is just hilarious to me. Like it's so loose and you go into first gear, you go into first gear, but it doesn't stay in that place. It just goes right back to where neutral is basically. And I asked, I was like, wait, is that supposed to do it? He goes, yeah, that's fine. I mean, the Subaru community is like a cult in a way. They all love their Subarus and they all love doing different things with them. But I love when people take a Subaru and do what it's made for. This thing is a all wheel drive off-roading vehicle that's purpose built now. You know, when these things are stock though, 
they're just kind of a family commuter car that so happens to be able to have all-wheel drive. Subarus have always been known to be the rally championships, even in their family sedans and wagons. Yeah, the Subaru Outback has like a funny place in my mind. When I was riding with my dad one time in our Mustang when I was very little, when I was like 11, my friend and his mom pulled up in a Subaru Outback next to me. And he goes, yeah, I see your Mustang, but be jealous of our Subaru Outback, watch out. And then ever since then, I always wondered, would somebody ever make a Subaru Outback really cool and really wicked? And Austin has succeeded. This is one of those cars though that he says that it breaks at least once a month, but he always goes in, fixes it. He's done everything to this car himself. It's awesome. It also has WRX brakes in the back, basically like cheap AutoZone pads on it. And up the front, it has Forester brakes with StopTech pads on it. So it really does bite pretty hard. This is the epitome of the saying, use what you got. If you want to modify your car, you can always find a way to make yourself different and make yourself stick out from the crowd. And with the battle wagon, Austin has stuck out from the crowd. He also did the front grill himself. He did this nice little fiberglass piece all the way around. And he was like, yeah, it's my first time using fiberglass and has some scratches on it, but not bad for the first time using fiberglass. So I applaud him for trying a new trade. That's really cool. The wiring in this car is pretty messed up. The window on my left, if I go up and down with it, sometimes he says if it rains, it just goes up and down over and over again because it doesn't know what to do. And one time he was welding and he didn't take the interior out and the car caught on fire. So that's also probably another reason why that's a thing. ready to go on an adventure though man like it's got the box up top you got the lights up front you got the bash bar you got the lift you got the tires you got everything ready to go what's better than that all right guys i want to thank each and every one of you for watching this video of the subaru battle wagon i hope you enjoyed it i know i did it was a fantastic time driving this thing this thing just screams pure character i love it and I hope to see this car again on an off-road trail. Maybe next time we'll get Jim and Austin together and we'll go have a great time off-road and we'll do a comparison test. Jim, if you're watching, I hope you see this and let's do a comparison test. Let's do a head-to-head -head versus these two cars. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys next time. Take it easy. Have a fantastic day.